Hi, boys and girls. I'm Nana Victoria and Petunia. Hey, everyone. Hey. Nana Victoria, we're going to read a book? Yes, we are. But first, say hey to everyone and welcome them. Welcome, boys and girls. I'm Petunia. And my Nana Victoria is going to read our new book. It is a new book. Did you write it? Yes, I did, Petunia. Oh, oh, what is it? It's called, Who Am I? Who am I? I know who I am. I know you know who you are, Petunia. But this is about everyone in the world. Oh, boy, I'm excited. Let's go. Okay, I'm ready too. Let's read, Who Am I? by Victoria Riveras Wernin. That's your name? Yes, you're right. That is my name. I'll help you. Thank you, Petunia. You're welcome. This little book contains God's incorruptible seeds that will save and preserve a generation and many generations to come. Look at all the children. I know they're all right there. And that is a little baby boy. He is cute. Yes, he is. Who, who am I? This book is written for all of God's precious little children. They are precious. Yes, they are. God's word is filled with his truth about all of his creation. Let me move it up just a little bit. May you enjoy reading about who you are in relationship to your Father God in heaven as revealed through his holy scriptures. But Jesus said, Suffer little children, forbid them not to come to me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Jesus loves you. Oh, I love him too. I know you do, Petunia. Who am I? I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 139, 14. Is he talking about me and everyone else? Yes, he is. All the boys and girls in the whole world? Yes, Petunia, he is. I like that. I do too. I am, and then we're going to, would you like to help me, Petunia? Yes, can I, can I? Yes. You just repeat after me. Okay. I am wonderfully and fearfully made. I am wonderfully and Fearfully, that's a big word. I know it is. Made. By my Father God in heaven. By my Father God in heaven. I am God's creation. I am God's creation. Thank you, Father God, for creating me. Thank you, Father God, for creating me. Oh, I like that. I do too, Petunia. Can we read some more? All right, let's read. Now, so God created mankind in his own image, in the image of God. Created he male and female. That's boys and girls, right? Yes. A male? What's a male again? A male is a boy. Yeah. And a female? A female is a girl. Yeah, like me. I'm a girl. Yes, you are. You're a pretty girl. Oh, thank you, Nana Victoria. You're welcome. Let's keep reading. All boys and girls are created in God's image. I am. Yes, you are. I am created in the image of my Father God. 
And his word says in Psalms 91, 11, for he shall give his angels charge. What's charge? Charge is like the Lord will cause the angels to watch over us. I like that. I really like that. I do too. And it says angels watch over me. Let's say that. All right. Angels watch over me. Angels watch over me and protect me and protect me everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for giving me angels to help keep me in all my ways. For giving me angels to help keep me in your way. Oh, I like that. I do too. You know, Jesus said a lot of things. What else did he say? Let's read. Okay, okay, come on. Jesus said, if you can believe, all things are possible to those who believe. I believe, I believe. And God shall bless all thy increase and all thy works of thy hands. The Lord says he will bless our hand. Every hands, every hands that believe, he'll bless them. We have a good God. Yes, we do. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 this little boy is saying, I'm going to believe God for great things and I want to help people and show them God's love. Oh, can I do that too? Yes, you can. You can do that, Petunia. You can show God's love in so many ways. That's what I want to do. That's wonderful. This one little person says, I want to be a blessing. So I'm going to help those who are in need. Maybe I will be a doctor. All doctors help us, don't they? Yes, they do. What about nurses? Nurses too. Nurses, doctors, they all help us. I love them. They help us all the time. If we don't feel well, they can help us. Yes, they can. God bless them. Yes, Petunia. This little boy, what is he doing? Ooh, it's cold. He's shoveling snow. Yeah, yes, he is. Yes, he is. You're right. And he says, I can help my neighbor by shoveling their snow away in their driveway or any other chore that there may, they may need to get done. Because Jesus is my helper. Oh, he's my helper too. <laughs> yes, he is, Petunia. I love this book. Thank you. This little girl, what is she doing? She's praying. That's how I pray. She puts her hands together and she's praying to God. She's praying, Our Father, which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Oh, can, can I pray that too? Yes, you can. Would you like to lead it? Yes, I would. Okay, Petunia. It's called the Our Father Prayer. Yes, I would love to pray it. Go right ahead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation. That's a big word. Yes, it is. But deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I pray to my father like that. You did wonderful, Petunia. You see, when you pray that prayer like that, the Father hears us every time we pray. Every time? Yes, when we pray. Can anybody pray? Yes, anyone can pray. Boys, girls, men, women, anyone can. Because we're all God's creation. Oh, wow. Oh, let's read some more. I love this. I do too. Oh, that boy's sleeping. Yes, he is. He's sleeping. And the scripture says, When thou liest down, you shall not be afraid. Sometimes I'm afraid. Well, you don't have to be. Because God's word says, What does it say? God's word says, Let's read together. Okay. When you lie down, you shall not be afraid. When you lie down in thy sleep, shall be sweet. Oh, sweet sleep. I like that. I do too. And we can all say this prayer right now. Would you like to say it, Petunia? Yes, yes, I would. All right, just say, I am not afraid. I am not afraid. Because my Father God in heaven, because my Father God in heaven is with me, is with me, watching over me while I sleep. Oh, watching over me while I sleep. I love that. I do too, Petunia. That's his promise. sleeping now too. Yes, she's sleeping. And so this is a prayer. Upon this I awakened and beheld, and my sleep was sweet unto me. Jeremiah 31, 26. I like it. I am at rest. I am at rest. When I lay down at night. When I lay down at night. My Father God. My Father God. Gives me sweet sleep. My Father God gives me sweet sleep. <laughs> Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. I like that prayer, Nana. Victoria? I do too, Petunia. Now here, it says... Keep me as the apple of thy eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Psalm 17, 8. Wait a minute. Yeah? My father God has wings? Yes, he does. I didn't know that. Well, it's a symbol of his protection like a bird to a little baby bird. Like a mama bird protects the little baby birds? That's right. That's just symbolic. Our God is huge. He's completely big in the entire universe. Petunia. And he says he calls us the apple of his eye. I love that. The apple of God's eye. Wow! That's right. Can I say that? Yes, you can. Say, I am. I am. The apple. The apple. Of God's eye. Of God's eye. I ask my father God to hide me under his wings. Oh, I like that. I ask my father God to hide me under his wings. Oh, I like that. I love that, Nana Victoria. I do too, Petunia. Let's read some more. Okay. 
this one in Colossians 3.20 says, Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing to the Lord. I am to always obey my parents, for this pleases my Father God in heaven. Oh, parents are special. Yes, they are. Yes. And so we're always to obey our parents. Like when my parents tell me to clean my room up. Yes. I clean it. That's right. And, and when my parents tell me it's time to go to bed. That's right. I go to bed. Do you? Well, sometimes. <laughs> I didn't think so. But doing it, well, I try real hard. But then you have to just kind of go to bed, right? Yeah, I end up there always. <laughs> Let's read some more. Okay. Honor thy father and thy mother as the Lord thy God has commanded thee that thy days may be prolonged and it may go well with you in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Deuteronomy 5.16 How do I honor my mother and father? Well, you honor them by listening to them. Listening? Yeah. Mothers and fathers will give instruction, Petunia, like, like, like go to school. That's right. And get a good education. That's right. Wow, I'm doing good, aren't I? Yes, you are, Petunia. Well, what about if our...